Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slady Spire. We are back after a little bit of a break. It was Christmas time and we had to do Christmas time stuff. And I'm going to jump back into it with an ironclad game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I played a tiny little bit off camera. I love this game and I actually just can't stop for some reason. So I'm going to start it off with choosing a card to obtain. Close on almonds of anger. I'm going to go with anger. I really like anger. I think anger is cool. The concept that it can start spiring out of control. So... After playing a bit more offline, just looking at the game a little bit, I've got a better idea of how to approach it. So, floor one is your sacrificial floor. Take every bad negative thing you can to boost yourself as much as possible to get as strong as you can. That's at least the approach I like to take. I mean, each to their own, as they say, but um, that's how I prefer to do it. I'm actually going to go over here and take the question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, fire, elite course. Now, that could be scary because we might get no other cards. But um, we'll see how it goes. If we get literally not one other new card in this whole situation, I might change it up, of course. But uh, we'll see how that goes. So we're going to start off with a bash for 8 damage and vulnerable 2. A block. So we block 5, take 11, heal 6 at the end of turn. And we can get a nice little bit of anger damage in there with the bash of vulnerable added. So a nice good start of 14 damage on the first turn. That's nothing to sneeze at. And we can look. He's going to do... A lot of damage to me, which was very unfortunate. So, I was very much hoping that we would kill him. 9, 18, 27. We have exactly the damage necessary to kill him. How perfectly calculated was that? So, getting that anger card, obviously, was the only reason that happened. So, um, very good for us. I'm going to take armaments here. I like to keep myself upgraded to the best possible form I can. I find armaments and flex to be extremely good. Move card from your deck, do some HP. Actually, not. We just don't need anything from you, good sir. And I've tried removing cards to get that the card card learn. I've only found negative one. So as I said earlier, this is the sacrificial land. So to lose a couple of HP points to get a free relic, you can't say no. So as you walk into the room, you hear a grinding and a grinding of metals. Before you is a slime-like creature that ate too much scrap for its own good. From the center of the creature, you see glints of strange light, perhaps something magical. It looks like you can get some treasure if you just reach inside. How it's opening. However, the acid and sharp objects may hurt. Well, let's go for 25% success. Only 3 HP. That was the first time I've ever got a first um, click success, I think. After rummaging through the metal and burning acid, you finally grab hold of a relic and yank it out. You pulled your way out of the ooze. Damaged, but rewarded. Leaf. So we got the backpack, which is amazing. It gives you... Um, we can actually go that way. Monster, that way. Heal, that way. So I'll decide how we want... Mm. Two monsters, question mark, monster. I'm going to go for the question mark first, see what we get, and we can decide after. So, if that's... Oh, I mean, that's freaking awesome. So, this is a tricky one. So, we have this situation of we get regret. At the end of your turn, lose one HP for each card in your hand. That is scary. But 250 gold is massive. If we can just get to a point where we only have one card in our hand when we draw the regret card, or two at maximum, because the regret card will automatically count as one card, that won't be too bad. So in my opinion, for one, for one damage around maybe, two damage around, maybe we're hitting six around for 250 gold, 150 gold extra, let's desecrate it. Great. Each time you strike the shrine, gold pours forth again and again as your pockets. The richest something weighs heavily on you. Okay, so we got like a ton of gold. So is there a merchant anywhere nearby? There's a merchant here. So we got to go through. So we've got the question option now. Going to the question mark. And then fire and then elite. Or going for the monster fire elite. It's a bit scary because we look at our deck. We don't actually have a lot of cards. we got like almonds and bats. So, oh, leave. So pretty much we're in a situation of where I want to fight a monster to get another card. But I'd love to do a question mark because you never know what positives you could get. So... Let's take a chance, go to the question mark, see what it holds for us. As you make your way down a long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. No! Upon close inspection, they are tied to strings coming from a hole in the ceiling. There is a quiet cackling from above as you approach the objects. What do you do? Well, you take the donut, of course. You eat the donut! It really hits the spot. Your max HP. I mean, look at that fucking donut. It looks amazing. I want to eat that donut. So we're pretty much on max HP, so we're going to definitely smith here is, I think, the right option. We're going to smith armaments, because smithing armaments is good, because that means if we get in our opening hand, every card will get upgraded. And, of course, with the backpack, we will get two cards, so that's great. 
The only problem backpack's gonna make getting an empty hand almost impossible for regret. So that's that sucks. But that's fine. So this guy's asleep, so I'm gonna start off by drinking a strength potion, get our strength up a little bit. I'm then going to think about this carefully and decide I want to go for bash. We didn't get armaments here, which is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, I think that's going to happen with time time. And then we're going to go for a little bit of anger strike right there. We're a little bit angry. And we're going to hit him and uh, deal quite a good amount. 23 damage in total on the first turn. Not too bad, not too bad. And he is vulnerable, so that's always good. So there's the regret, the card I was a bit worried about giving, but it's fine. We're going to go armaments. Get that five arm up. Then we might want to block twice here. Block twice till 16. Take one from that. I'm actually gonna go for the double block. Get to 21 block. Take no damage. Because this two regret. I'm not sure if that goes straight to my HP or if that goes to my armor, but let's find out. Enter. It does go straight to my HP. So the grit is a little bit of a problem, but um, I think taking zero damage from the strike is critical to my success. So um, I did feel like that was the right play. Got regret immediately again, which is a bit unfortunate, but um, we're gonna go for that. Bash with vulnerable, and um, then we're going to go for a five block. Just doesn't feel worth it. Eight damage. Let's go. I'd rather tank the 18 damage from the the attack from the Lager Vulin instead of getting that uh, 13 damage and no no actual damage on the creature. So I'm gonna go 11, 22, 29, 29 damage. One turn. More anger cards to the anger gods. Yep, you can lower my stuff, dude. It's chilled. I don't mind. I don't mind. Okay, so do we have the damage to kill this good sir? We do seven. We do not have the damage. Oh, we do because of strike plus. We have exactly enough damage due to strike plus. And of course, uh, we did do one extra damage thanks to strength up. But uh, that strike plus that we had in our hand from almonds from the previous round, that saves us. Fair wheel, non-boss chest now contain cards. I don't know what that means, but it's fine. I'm gonna go for heavy blow here. I find having one high damage card in your deck uh, is very, very useful. So, is it one of these motherfuckers? That's fine. I don't care. I'm gonna start off with armaments. Bloom. Get five blocks so we don't take too much damage. And I'm gonna go for a. We should actually go for bash here. If I'm being honest, I'm gonna go for the bash instead. It's very tempting to go for the heavy blade as it will do a lot more damage. It will do 14 damage, but I can get three vulnerable with upgraded bash. So I decided to go for the bash in this case. Give me your gold, dude. Leave my gold alone. Leave my gold alone. Sweet. So 10 damage is coming in my way, but I can do to this man nine. So it's 27. 33, not enough to kill, so we're gonna go for a block, gonna go for a strike, gonna go for a strike, gonna go for anger. So we unfortunately did not have enough damage to kill, we're just three short, actually two short if I look at the amount there. Too short, but it's fine because we're gonna go heavy strike and that would be that. We're gonna heal up six, we're at 61, we like at two thirds of our max HP, it's not too good, but also it's not really that bad. Struggle off is very good, um, whirlwind's also very, very good. I'm actually gonna go for whirlwind in this situation. And let's hope that this chest is kind. Come on, chesty boy. Give me a relic that I love. Gave me uh, 23 gold, a bag of marbles, which is pretty good. And then it gives me a few cards, but nothing I actually like. I do not like Wild Strike. Body Slam only works if you go the Juggernaut Bolt, which we don't like yet. Got. And Omens is pretty good, but having more than one in the deck, just it never feels good. So we look at our deck over here. I've got a very nice setup. Like, I don't actually know if I want to add an armaments. Because if I get an armaments and an armaments, a block and a, a regret, for instance, I get armament, armament, regret, and maybe one strike. What do I do in that turn? I don't actually have a play there. That's the problem. Wild Strike does do 12 damage and it's optional, so I'm going to go for Wild Strike. I don't like Wild Strike personally, but because um, of that wound card it gives me. We have a ton of money, so we've got to check it. Kremlin Horn, yes, please. Lost Pen, yes, please. Um, we got more money. Bloodletting is pretty good. Power through is pretty good. Tearing blows. Okay, wild strike on special, but we can't afford it because we actually have only 24 gold. And I did not realize so. Not for sale, but I want to buy the mat, dude. You mother ever. Okay, let's proceed. So our next elite is coming up right now. So we could heal, but I'm actually not going to because at 61 out of 85, that feels way high enough to uh, survive. So that does 17 damage now. That does 8 damage times to all enemies. 8 damage times my energy so if i get four to five energy i could do 40 damage to every enemy in the game i mean what is that explain to me how is that balance so this can do 20 
4 damage, it's just 24 damage doesn't feel that good. I probably could do more damage just with straight up Wild Strike, which would 12, plus is 18, and Anger is 4. Actually, no, Warwind is definitely the right player, so we're gonna go boop, 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 beautiful. Go Anger this man, and right there we've taken him down to half HP in one turn, and the man is vulnerable because of marbles. I think marbles is why we took more damage, which also means I missed cut. Ooh, we took a lot from regret there. That's actually bad. Actually, I um, forgot about marbles, and that's probably we could have. I miscalculated the damage completely. So, one of course got armaments here. That's always the play. Get a defend 8 there. He's going to do 10. I've got more than enough armor to stop it. So, bloop, attack him in my turn. I wish I had one more energy so I get a second attack, but it's fine. So regret actually destroyed us there. Massive problem, massive problem. But that's life. So we need to pretty much kill him this turn or we are effed. And I don't think there's any way. 32 damage, 9. 14s. 23. I just don't think there's any way to kill him in this round. I'm going to go for the bash then. Get that vulnerable on him. Then go for a strike. So, oh, it's, I don't think there's any way to kill him. We're going to have to tank 27 damage because we are vulnerable. I don't know how we got vulnerable, but we did, and that sucks. What vulnerable does? I, don't, I just don't actually know. So, Whirlwind seems to be very strong, and I underestimated it tremendously, and I uh, regret that, but dual wield. Yes, please, because if we can dual wield. Because we got a merchant. No, we got no money. Question mark and a monster. I'm going to go for the question mark because I feel like we can't really fight, but we did get a fight nonetheless, so it's fine. There's another regret, so we're going to tank a ton of damage once again. Which sucks balls. Getting that regret in our opening hand every time is actually just destroying us. So our next attack is going to do double damage. We need to keep that in mind. Regret is destroying us. We get um heavy strike with double damage. It's going to insta-kill the cultist. We did not get heavy strike, which sucks. Um, I'll go for... I mean... I block once and then I guess strike for 12. And oh, he actually still dies because of the double damage. Nice! Oh man, I miscalculated that completely. I miscalculated that completely. Fire potion is good. And I mean, Berserker is pretty good. But Blood for Blood is actually better. So I'm going to go for Blood for Blood here. We are very low on HP, so we probably have to rest at the next bonfire. You duck into a small hut. Inside you find what appears to be a forge. The smithing tools are covered with dust, yet the fire roars inside the furnace. You feel on edge. So normality, you cannot play more than three cards, but then that's impossible, and then injury. Upgrade a card, 25% chance to get cursed. I mean, that feels worth it. Let's go. Upgrading a card. Going to upgrade. Whoa, when the fits here, it's not here. I'm going to upgrade. Blood for blood, maybe. Um, Mars strike. Uh, Heavy strike, no. Dual wheel, create two copies. Dual wheel upgrade could be very good. Upgrade dual wheel, and we're gonna hope we don't get cursed. You decided to put the force to use and clang, clang, clang! Improve your arsenal. Sweet, we didn't get uh, cursed or anything. This is a dig function because we have these shovels, so now we can dig at the campfire and we can get a random relic. And it's so good, it's so good, but on our HP, we just can't do it. But it's so good, but on our HP, we just can't do it. But it is so, actually, so good. But we can't do it because we would probably die. We're going to have to rest for 30% of our max HP. Now we have two thirds of our HP. I think at two thirds, Mr. Slime Guy, we, i got bad news for you, man. Bad, bad news. So Warwind's already upgraded. So it's pointless to use armaments here. So I think the play is definitely just straight up. Boop. Hit that man. And then uh, end the turn. So we're going to tank nine damage. But nine damage is nothing. Because we're going to heal full after this fight. That's what you need to remember about the... First floor, or rather, the first dungeon. Sorry, is how I should say. It. So, blood to blood is now pretty much freezes. But um, I'm gonna go for a. I actually don't want to deal with. We're gonna get two copies. So that actually deal will and regret do not synergize very well. I'm gonna have to go for this and then in button. So we're gonna take two damage here. Three damage here. It took three damage, of course, because red grit also counts for damage. Slime crush. So next round, we're gonna take a billion damage from this guy, but we're not gonna because we're gonna kill him first. Um, strike should do nine. There we go. That. Oh no. Nope. I refuse to take that damage. 
I refuse to take that damage. Let's make him split instead. I am not taking 30 something damage. Okay. I'm pretty sure if I take 30 something damage, I'm just dead. I'm just straight up dead. So uh, that's not happening. We got regret, which is very often. Why do we not draw another card? Why do we draw so little cards? What is happening? We only have four cards here. We should have had five cards at least. Okay, so that sucks. For some reason, we got wrecked. We got a little bit cheated on the card front. So that's unfortunate. But uh, this is really bad because these guys freaking weaken you and frail you. So they make the fight immensely difficult. Okay, so we have dual wheel. This is definitely the time to make two copies of blood for blood. And then we uh, heavy strikes going to do ten. Blood for blood is going to do twelve. So twelve. 12 we're gonna tank no damage here once again he's gonna split which is good but he's gonna frail us even more so we're gonna be frailed into infinity but luckily our weakened will come off pretty soon so we got 20 damage coming through there 20 damage you know what i don't care when i can just do this baby man that ability is strong as if we did kill it in two enemies so we got two energy from the gremlin horn it's super 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 good when it comes to the uh Gremlin Horn and Slime Monsters. Because every time you kill a Slime Monster, you get another energy, you get another energy, you can do another attack, you can do another attack, you might kill another Slime Monster, etc, etc, and it can snowball like that. So, Warwind is really good for dealing with these uh, horrible, horrible mother efforts I don't want to deal with. There we go. Pretty easy, pretty easy. I feel like we handled that very well. Oh, <gasps> Juggernaut. Man. But I'm going to go Bludgeon. Simply because we have the Pendab. And that means every 10th attack will be doubled. That means if we get to a 10th attack and have a bludgeon in our hand, we can do 68 damage. 68 with one card. I mean, that would kill almost anything. So we got the White Beast statue, which always makes um, potions drop. We got the Black Star, which means elites drop two relics, which is good. And we got the Eternal Favor. Every card of cards in your deck, heal two HP whenever you enter a campfire. I'm going to go with the Black Star. If we can kill one elite on the next floor. They will put us, give us two relics, and relics are how you win this game. So, definitely the approach you want to take. So, let's look. Where is our closest elite after bonfire? So, right here. Elite, bonfire. So, we need to come this route. Man, that sucks. That's a lot of fights before that bonfire. Which means you're going to be really low. We can also do this way. Take maybe one less fight. So, I'm going to go for that attempt. That route. I hate this guy. This guy just freaking uh, buffs himself into oblivion and beyond. Okay, so Bloodstone's actually just going to do 32 damage straight up. But, I think this is an armament situation. And a bass situation. I think that's how you have to handle that, that play. And then we end our turn. Regret's going to do 8 billion damage to us. But that's fine. I wish Block blocked Regret. That would save my life. Because we're looking at 10 damage here. I'm not actually in the mood to take 10 damage. But, unfortunately, we do not have a... Uh, I'm going to make copies of Bloodletting for now. Simply because we are going to take damage at some point. You know, it's just, it's a... Uh, inevitable. It's going to do 14 damage. This is going to do 6 damage. So 14 damage is better. Does 2 more damage than what the 2 strikes would do. I'm going to take 10 damage here. Not a, not a great start to this round. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Pretty bad, pretty bad. But... We are very close to having ourselves... Oh no, that's... 20 damage. I'm so, so oh crap and I'm frail too. So it looks like we're gonna tank a billion damage here, guys, and that's just how it's gonna be. I hate this guy so much. This guy is so hard to play. Our next attack's gonna do double damage, so we get bludgeon, that'll be great. We've lost 35 HP on the first boss, that is unacceptable. We did not get uh, bludgeon, but we did get blood for blood, which is great, and that's why I put that many blood for bloods in my deck. Three of them in total by using the double copy card. Um, I'm gonna go for. I think I'm gonna go for anger here. That was a hard choice, personally, but um, I'm gonna go for that. What do we got? You come across the streaming water, flowing endlessly from fountain on nearby wall. Remove all costs from the. Deck. <gasps> what is this? I've never seen this. Why have you not shown up more? Remove all courses. By regret, you mother fudger. As you drink the water, you feel a dark grasp loosen. Fuck you, Regret. F you, dude. You did like 10 damage to me in the last game. Remove a card from my deck. 
Oh, upgrade all my strikes defenses. Well, what card would I want to remove? And there's no, I mean, do wait, what card did I still want to remove? I wanted to remove dual wield, but now I actually don't. So I'm actually going to just upgrade all strikes and defense. The truth is always simple. And now we're going to find a monster. Oh no, Parasite Boy. I hate Parasite Boy. So Mr. Parasite Boy is very frustrating to fight against if you haven't already uh, put two and two together. I'm going to start off with a defend here. Get a nice little eight defense. So just take slightly less damage because we did tank way too much damage in the last one. I'm going to go for a heavy blow right off the bat. I'm going to go for anger management problem right after that. So end our turn and next turn, hopefully we'll be able to get him. I realize we don't actually have any buffs in our thing. Where the fuck did you just get 12 armor from, dude? What the fuck? I'm 32. It will not kill him. Ah, oh, man. This guy's going to wreck me. It's absolutely going to wreck me. Wild Strike will do 12. Anger will do... Wait, if I make copies of the Wild Strike, 12 times 3. But that's 3 win cards. I should make copies of the Anger cards. What I should do. So, dual wield. Make copies of Anger. There we go. Use a defense, obviously. Wild strike this guy's armor away. A off with your armor. You know what you should actually just draw three cards. Oh, we actually have no points, so drawing three cards here would be bad. Maybe mm, I think we can't armor anyway because we have no energy. So I guess we're gonna end. And we're gonna tank ten freaking damage game. I wish I had rage right about now. Rage. Rage and Anger work so good together, which makes sense, because usually Anger does lead to Rage, so I understand the logic behind it. But um, really, those two abilities work really good. I'm going to drink here. I need to draw cards. Blood for Blood does 16 damage, so let's Armament. Get free block, which is okay. This now does 18 damage. Can we kill? 18 plus 9. I don't think so, but let's go for it. 18. There we go. And then, oh, my next attack does double. I should have attacked first, and then Blood... For blooded, we probably killed like that. Man. Pretty large miscalculation there. I could take one damage by blocking here. But I'm going to rather go for the 18 double damage with the uh, Pendip. Pendip is actually something you need to keep your, your eyes on. It's very easy because they give you a little notification on here. But you have to you have to be awake. And you need to know what you're like getting yourself into. So we have only 3 energy here. We don't actually have anything that gives energy. That's the problem. This will do 8 times 3. It will not kill because of this armor you got out of nowhere, dude. So I'm going to have to go for a uh, bash here. And then a defend here. It's very unfortunate because he's, he's gaining armor every freaking turn. It's making us steal no damage to him. But we're tanking too much damage. So this hand, what is this hand? It's all free. It's all free, my brothers. Why pay when it can be for free? Dead. Get destroyed. Thanks to the vulnerable there, that made that simply possible. So we got body sand, sentinel, and thunder I'm gonna have to take sentinel here. Actually, I'm gonna take nothing here, maybe. I'm gonna take nothing here. I'm just gonna this. Uh, because all of those just aren't going to help me in any way, shape, form. The body slam is okay. But the problem with the body slam is that... Uh, okay, so this guy's going to do 21 damage to me. And I have zero defense cards. Very nice. Very nice game. Okay, this guy is going to gain infinite armor now. So we're going to have to end our turn there. Man, that's unfortunate. 21 damage coming in. I can't do anything about it. Absolutely nothing. That's the problem I'm finding out with the with Ironclad. I'm getting so strong, but I just die. And then, <laughs> what's the point if you're very strong, but you just die? So it's got Omens. And then, um, I guess Warwind for 16 damage is fine. It's not the greatest, but it's fine. And I'll turn. It's going to use that little crap on us. It's going to make us weaker and take more damage. It's really bad. So we've got 21 damage incoming. Can we kill this man at all? 10 damage, no. 6 damage, no. So we're going to have to defend, defend, and I think go for one strike. Ooh, things are getting very scary very quick. 21 damage incoming. And this is the problem I'm finding. I just, there needs to be some heal mechanic. We need some type of heal mechanic in the game. That's what we need to survive. And I'm just not finding whatever it is that heals us. Flame beating is good, Bourbon's good, Flame beating is really good. So we need to go to this bonfire. We need to sleep. 
So I'm gonna be on 38 HP. That's not nearly enough to take an elite. I am pretty sure. And it's the most powerful elite too, of course. Of course, game. Well, dual wheel is definitely the way to go. Get that angle in there. Okay, and then we wanna go strike. 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 Uh, is that a better foot? Oh, I miscalculated. Anger. 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 So we got eight anger cards in our deck now, which is huge. Absolutely huge. So, um, very, very insanely creeped out by that. And two wound cards in our deck, too. Damn, guys. Okay, so, I'm gonna have to armament here. Very important. And then I'm gonna have to bash here. And then we're gonna have to hope that we can use vulnerable with a massive amount of attacks to win the game. Because that's pretty much the only thing we're going because this guy does every attack he does does more damage than the previous attack. When one more strike. So that does 32. We're not on the pull quill for the damage. So we can do nine here. Sixteen here. Tank eight. Twenty-one. Twenty-four we did. Mother effer. If that wound card was just a block card, we survived. The wound card was just a block card we survived. Well, that's... You know, I think maybe, you know, we deserve that loss. We seem to just be so weak on the second floor. Man. We're not getting whatever we need to keep us alive, keep us going on that second floor. I'm, I'm never making it past the, the first elite on the second floor. And that's weird because I used to, used to make it to the first to second elite on the third floor. And I feel like we've actually taken a step back. And we need to reassess our approach and how we are going to play the game. And figure out what it is that has changed. That we're getting ourselves our butt hands. Let's be honest. We are getting our butt hands us, guys. So we need to work on that. We need to figure it out. And we need to solve it before we take on the next challenge. So I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that episode, be sure to hit that like button. I felt like we were pretty strong on the first floor. And then second floor, we just got wrecked. But it was that, that fucking... No blocks against that flower. What honestly took us down. But anyway, thanks once again for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. It helps out a bunch. Subscribe if you haven't already. To be updated as soon as new episodes are released. And I will see you on the next episode of Slay the Spire.